I want to talk a little bit about layouts now that we're getting to a place where we can work with linear layout and relative layout. So we have we have this right now. You have a button. You click on the button. It goes to a new screen. It goes to the game activity. We can hit the back button and it goes back. Um, we have so I'm going to open up in our layout under resources layouts main activity. I'm going to open that up and you can see. Well, let's go into the design view and I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. You can kind of see we have a little bit of a design. There's something on top. There's something below. You might even notice you can move stuff around. You can kind of play with it. Uh, so if I do Control R to run, it should kind of it's it's kind of moving around. It's 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 kind of complicated, but I'm trying to just stick with the basics here. So that's that's this is called a relative layout. Um, but what I want to do is I want to work with linear layout. So at the bottom, I'm going to go into the text view, and you can see. So we right now we have this relative layout right here which has an opening and a closing and a closing tag down here at the bottom. So anything inside of that is inside of the relative layout. There are a number of layouts. There's constraint layout, there's relative layout, there's linear layout, there's all kinds of stuff. But I want to change this to linear layout. Um, and uh, so if we save that, I'm not, I'm not even sure this will work, but we can run it and see what happens. And it might, yeah, so it crashed. So there are a couple of things. When you change it from linear relative layout to linear layout, first I'm going to get rid of some of this padding. I'm going to get rid of that. We don't need this text view. I'm going to get rid of that. Um, all this. So, so in, in relative layout, we have it. Everything is kind of relative, kind of as the name suggests. It's kind of all relative. Like you have this to the left of that. You have that to the right of this. You have this below that. So let's just go to our button, and we have an ID. We have a width and a height. Then we have a line parent center. We have some other stuff. I'm just going to get rid of that. Um, so text, uh, I'm going to get rid of all of that. So we just so it just leaves us with an ID, a layout width, a height, and a text. So I'm going to save that, and I'm going to run it and see if this works. I think this actually might work, even though we don't have an orientation. Uh, no, it didn't. Let's see, why is that? Oh, I know why it is. So what we have is what we did earlier is we so this used to be this used to be um, it used to be relative layout. So let's go into main activity, and if you notice here, here we're still calling it relative layout. We need to call it linear layout, and this will mess it up down here. So we also need to do a linear layout. Save that. This should work now. So I'm going to run it with Control R. And we're just picking off where we left off in the last video. So if you got lost, you can go to the previous video. And here's our button here. We click on the button. It goes to a new game activity. Maybe we haven't finished that up yet. Um, but one of the things that we set here is orientation vertical. And you can just do that by, so if I get rid of that, what I can do, I can just start typing orientation, enter. Then it'll say horizontal or vertical. Just hit vertical. And then we have our button here. So let's, let's I want to copy this, or let's do this. Let's. Instead of doing it in our in our design view at the bottom here, because we do have a choice to drag and drop stuff in, but instead let's do it in XML. So let's do button wrap wrap. So that that'll create a new button. Then we need to do some text. And I'm just hitting text, and it's auto completing for me. I can hit enter and button two. So I'm going to save it and run it with Control R Command S to save Control. So let's see. So here's our button now. The button two doesn't do anything. I can click on it all day long. It's not going to do anything. It's not set up. We could give it an ID, uh, button two, so we can save it like that. Um, and, and notice, like, I'll get rid of this for just a second. So if I want to add an ID to it, just like we have an ID to this and the button, like see our button ID. This is what allows us to hook up this XML layout into our into our Android Java class. We use a button there. And same thing with activity main. We also have an ID for that, and it's right here. So say we want to add an ID, an ID to this button because we want it to do something. So let's start typing ID. It'll auto suggest for that. If not, you can just scroll through there and look for it. Hit enter. It'll suggest an, the at sign plus ID slash. Just select that button two. So I'm going to save that, and um, that gives an that gives it an ID. That won't change anything. 
because we don't have it set up in our Java class, but at least it has an ID, so if we want to do something. Um, let's also do something else. Let's do text view. So text view is just like the name kind of suggests. It's just kind of like a standard view where you want to display some text. Let me show you. So text view match wrap. So there's wrap content and there's match parent. Um, I'm just doing that and it's I'm doing auto come here. Let me let me slow down a little bit so you can follow along. So I just open up the tag just kind of like if you're familiar with HTML or whatever. It's just kind of the same thing hit text view, it'll automatically suggest match parent, and then I'll start typing wrap content and it'll finish that up. Let's do text welcome. Save that, I'm gonna reformat it with, uh, it's option command L, save it with con command R, I mean save it with command S, run it with control R, go to the emulator, and you should see it below the button there. So there are a number of things we can do. We can add margin, so I can say margin, layout margin, just start typing margin. If you don't know what it is, just start typing it and the chances are it'll auto suggest something. So let's do, let's do 24 DP, save it, reformat it, run it. This will give us some spacing around it. There's also text size, so text size, just start typing it. 30 SP, we'll get into that later. You might be from, more familiar with pixels, but we use SP and DP in Android, so it made it bigger. There's all kinds of stuff we can do. We can but I think this is good for now. This, this gets you set up a little bit with some uh, UI elements. Again, we changed what we changed. We changed it from a relative layout to a linear layout. We specified an orientation for vertical. Then we just put, our, put all of our buttons and text and stuff. We put, it between, we put it between that and this. Anything inside of there is inside of this, this linear layout. So welcome. Um, we can give it an ID or whatever, but I think this is good for now. This will get your feet wet. You can try out other, you can drag in like spinners or check boxes. Um, I th yeah, I think you can just drag this stuff in. So put it at the bottom, save it, run it. I think this might even work. I don't usually use the, let's see here. Yeah, so there's our check box. We can check it. Kind of our default styling material design, which we'll get into later. So I think this is part, I think six or I think this is part seven anyway. It's going up on YouTube. If you have any questions or anything, leave, leave a comment and I'll get to you as soon as I can. I, I'll try to respond to all comments. So this is how you get started building, um, building a layout in Android Studio.